four people are having dinner on a restaurant terrace. Jennifer is wearing two large gold bracelets and gold rings on each of her fingers. Martin's fiddling with a brand new phone and checking the time on his smartwatch. Connor has a tattoo on his hand and a dazzling gold watch on his wrist. Steve doesn't have any watches, rings, or bracelets, but he is wearing a smart suit. Only one of them is a millionaire. Can you guess who? It's Steve. He's got car keys in his pocket, and there's a brand new sports car parked nearby. Jennifer has old ripped shoes. All that gold's probably fake. Martin's phone is a knockoff, and Connor has old ripped shoes, just like Jennifer. Mark's teacher is great, but he's also kind of weird. He never lets Mark go home without solving some of his tricky riddles. Here's the first one. How many apples are there on a maple tree if apples grow 5 on a branch and there are 8 branches on the tree? Okay, this one's easy. Apples don't grow on maple trees. This next one's gonna be harder. Get ready, said the teacher. Where are there cities with no houses, forests with no trees, and rivers without water? You've got only 7 seconds. Yeah, this one's easy too. On a map. Right, said the teacher. One more and I'll let you go. Who's the person everyone takes their hat off in front of? Mark knew the answer immediately, probably because he's a huge fan of Brightside Riddles. Can you guess it? It's a hairdresser, of course. Unless you want a really weird haircut, I guess. Poor Fanny lived with her stepmother and three wicked stepsisters. Her dream was to go to her favorite influencer's New Year's party. But her stepmother, Ruth, was pretty mean. She said Fanny could go only if she did everything Ruth asked. Ruth asked Fanny to bring her some water, but only gave her a colander to carry it in. How's Fanny gonna do it? Fanny needs to freeze some water and put it in the colander. Technically, it's still water. Time to choose the perfect dress. Fanny has three dresses, a blue one, a red one, and a green one. Which dress should Fanny wear? Find the best one in 10 seconds. Fanny should wear the red dress. That button on the blue dress is about to come off, and one of her stepsisters spilled paint on the green one. Which sister put paint on her dress? All three stepsisters are pretty mean. Time to investigate. Fanny snuck into their bedroom. Three beds for three sisters. Bella, the oldest one, Stella, the middle sister, and Ella, the youngest one. Fanny only has a few seconds. Help her out. Can you figure out who ruined her dress? Stella's the culprit. There's a can of paint right under her bed. There's something all people in this world do at exactly the same speed. What is it? Aha! Uh -huh, they get older. It flies without wings and cries without eyes. What is it? It's a cloud. What can you see with your eyes closed? A dream. Okay, enough with the easy short riddles. Let's go back to some harder ones. Jack and Jill set up a challenge. Whoever answers yes to every question wins. Jill was sneaky. She realized that there was one question nobody could say yes to. What question is that? The question is, are you sleeping? 
She waited until Jack fell asleep and then asked him the question. Whoa, those guys are intense. Emily and Mary are putting on their makeup, getting ready for a night out. They have really similar tastes. Their phones look the same, so do their lipsticks, clothes. So which one of them has the more expensive stuff? It's Mary. Take a closer look at Emily. Her dress kind of gives it away, since it's obviously a knockoff. When Mike was 25 years old, he tied a ribbon on a cherry tree in his grandfather's garden. Ten years later, he returned to see how much higher the ribbon was. If the tree grew by an inch each year, how much higher would the ribbon be? It wouldn't have changed position at all. Trees grow from the top up. The trunk just gets wider. A green apple costs $1, a red one costs $2, and a blue one costs $3. What apples and how many of them did Frank buy, if we know that he spent $3 using only two bills? Frank bought a green and a red one. He paid $1 bill for the green one and a $2 bill for the red one. Yeah, he could have grabbed the blue one and given the same two bills, but blue apples don't exist. Gotcha. Two houses are on fire. One of them belongs to Jack. He's an accountant. The other one is a luxurious mansion that belongs to James, a pro basketball player. Which fire should the police put out first? Police don't put out fires. That's the fire department's job. <laughs> Two people came up to a large river. There was only one boat, and it was pretty old and shabby. The boat can carry only one person at a time, but both people got across the river. How come? One of the people was already on the other side of the river. Only one person needed a boat. Three friends fell asleep under a tree in the countryside. While they were resting, someone passed by and painted mustaches on their faces. When the friends woke up, they started to laugh. But then, all of a sudden, they stopped. Why? At first, they saw the mustaches on their friends' faces and found it funny. But then, they realized their friends were laughing too. They had mustaches on their faces as well. Alice was walking through a dark forest. Suddenly, she saw an old cabin. Hey, wonder if a witch lives in there. She wanted to try her luck and snoop around, but the door was locked. On the gate, though, was a note with a secret code. Well, can you crack this code? The answer is magic. Three stars before karma means you need to get rid of the first three letters. Two stars after gift mean you need to get rid of the last two letters. For coat, you need to get rid of the last three letters. Aunt Tilda is a huge fan of cats. She lives in a one-story house full of cat garden statues, a cat rug, cat wallpaper, cat cushions, and about 100 cat fridge magnets. Oh, and the 25 cats that live with her. What color cat is in the painting upstairs? Eh, She lives in a one-story house. There aren't any cat paintings upstairs. Ashton loves taking and making bets. Every time he meets his friends, he has a new one. Last Friday, he suggested a challenge. He said he could place a bottle in the middle of a room and easily crawl into it. This time, Ashton's friends were sure they'd win. It seemed impossible. Still, Ashton won the bet. Again! How did he do it? He said he could place a bottle in the room and crawl into it. 
So he placed a bottle in the middle of the room and crawled into the room. Sneaky. You have two ropes. If you burn each side of the rope, it will burn for 60 minutes. How can you measure 45 minutes if you have these two ropes and a box of matches? You need to burn one of the ropes from both sides. At the same time, you set fire on the second rope too, but from one side only. When the first rope burns down, the second rope will still have 30 minutes to go. Now, you need to set on fire the second end of the rope. It'll burn two times faster, and you'll burn both ropes in 45 minutes. You're in a photo gallery. After looking at the wall, you realize that one of the pictures doesn't belong. You see a raccoon, a llama, a football, and a balloon. Can you tell which is the odd one out? You have 7 seconds to guess. It's the llama. The other three objects have two double letters in their names, but the llama only has one. Gabrielle cooked a lovely dinner for her friends. When everybody was at the table, she suddenly realized one of them didn't like the meal. Who was it? It was Mike. He secretly shared it with Gabrielle's dog. 3 plus 3 equals 8. Move just two matches to make this equation correct. You've only got 10 seconds. It's 9 minus 9 equals 0. Grab a match from the plus to turn the 3 into a 9, and one more match from the 8 to turn the other 3 into a 9. There are 5 apples in a basket and 5 people in the room. Each person takes an apple, but there's still only one apple in the basket. How come? The last person took both an apple and the basket. So there. 